Welcome back to Strength for Today for July 27th. Brick by brick. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 4.16. 2 Corinthians 4.16 says, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Brick by brick. Thomas Carlyle labored with the intensity on the first volume of a three-part study of the French Revolution. He felt it could be his greatest work. He loaned the manuscript to his friend, John Stuart Mill, to read, and Mill read it by the fire. One morning, the maid, cleaning the room and seeing the scattered pages on the floor, threw them in the fire. When Carlyle learned his manuscript had been burned to ash, he sank into deep depression. Some time later, still desolate, he saw a brick mason through the window. The man was standing on a scaffold, singing and whistling to himself as he built a wall of a house one brick at a time. Watching him, Carlyle decided he would write his book again, one page at a time. His history of the revolution became famous, and he is remembered as one of Scotland's literary giants. Perhaps you have lost something very valuable to you. Don't give up. Tomorrow still holds a bright promise, and the Lord blesses faithful, plodding work. Let's take it step by step, day by day, and moment by moment. I'd be in deep depression, too, if my manuscript was just burned. Can you believe that? Oh, my goodness. And back then, everything was done by hand, right? So you can't just, like, print out another copy or go back and get a saved, you know, version. But I like that line in there, how God is honoring plotting work. I mean, that's how I feel like sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I am not making much progress. I feel like I'm plotting one foot, one day, one step at a time. But guess what? God's going to bless that. And that's how things get done. How is a house built? One brick at a time. What's that saying? How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So, you know, just getting through today with the best efforts that you can, taking another step forward. Sometimes we take three steps forward, and what do they say? Two steps back. I think sometimes I take two steps forward and three steps back. I have days like that, don't you? But guess what? Brick by brick, moment by moment, step by step, effort by effort, we are going to get things done. And also, besides just getting more things done in your life. You also want to be doing that every day, sharing the gospel too, right? One person at a time, one little tract at a time, one little note or text a person at a time. All these tiny steps lead up to big accomplishments in the end. So don't give up, my friend. Today, just keep on plotting like I am, one thing at a time, and we're going to make it. Have a great day plotting your way through, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of Strength for Today by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you lean on God's strength and have a fantabulous day.